People way dumber than you who don't work as hard are making an easy $2,000 a day with their marketing agency and that same money is hidden in plain sight right under your nose. Now I know this because I'm one of them. I went to the 99th worst university in England. I once pronounced crudites as crudites to a waiter. I once scored an 87 on an IQ test. For perspective, some dogs score higher than that, and yet I'm pulling in $2,000 a day. So here's our Stripe accounts and our PayPal accounts and our bank transfers, all totaling over $700,000 for the year in sales. And you can do this too way faster than you might think. With one simple approach, any marketing agency can basically turn on the money tap and create income on demand resulting in $2,000 a day, no matter your experience, whether you're a noob or even a pro. And the secret to this is how you make friends. Right, so let's start here with section one of the money tap. This is all about how to create total financial stability. This is where your bills are paid on time and any income you make basically comes in like clockwork. So you, money comes out and then money comes in all on automation and you know how much you're making this month and you can start planning ahead with how you're gonna use your money. Now when I focused on this and made this change, it turned my business into a machine that basically couldn't help but make money. It was like all of my money and income problems disappeared overnight. And by now, your bullshit alarm, right, is probably going off and that's 100% to be expected and you are 100% entitled to feel that. If it's this easy to make $2,000 a day, maybe you're thinking, why has it been so hard for you to hit $2,000 a month or $2,000 a week? If it was that easy, why isn't everyone doing it? Now, You've got moron YouTubers and agency experts telling you how easy it is. And the problem is because you've been doing it wrong the entire time. And you've been doing it wrong for a long time. You've basically been following the wrong process. And that's because what the expert influencers teach is fundamentally incorrect, which completely wastes your time and energy. Now, this is not your fault. You have essentially been taught to set up a DVD rental business in the world of streaming. That's how big the shift is in what I'm about to teach you. Now you've been taught this and you haven't been taught what works because A, these experts don't know what they're talking about and B, they purposefully teach you the wrong stuff because that is what gets them to make money. Get this right and overnight your cash flow will improve and more importantly, but often forgotten, you'll have more money left over and we call that profit. Even better, the model that I'm gonna show you will actually decrease the amount of hours that you work and will cause you less stress. This method is what has helped me build multiple six-figure businesses. Plus, more importantly, we've done this for clients over and over. And now you can see that if you go to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash stories, I'll put a link to that below. Now, to date, we've helped over 17,000 agencies charge $25,000 for their services, which has generated $425 million worth of wealth. And I wanna give a slice of that to you. All right, so tell me if you recognize this. They say build a funnel and like sell a product at the end, something where you can charge money, obviously. And they're like, build a product suite and have a value ladder and have all these different products all the way down, kind of ranging in price. And then spend a ton of money on ads. And then the idea is you'll get a ton of clients and they'll come out the end and spend some money with you. This is fundamentally incorrect. This whole system, especially for where you are, it's wrong. What if instead we could get your clients to want to spend money with you year in, year out, no matter what happens every single year, and even if you're at capacity, they will just offer to pay more and more money each time. And so this model is how I got to this point, and I promise it does not involve working more hours. If anything, you'll be shocked at how little you need to do. So imagine trying to make 365 friends, okay? That's one friend every single day 
for a year. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a month. And then there's 30, I'm not even gonna be able to draw them. 30 friends, 12 times, right? That's almost impossible. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds awful. This is the inefficient method and the very dangerous model that these clowns want you to try and follow. This is what's sold to you by the experts. And yes, in theory, you can use leads and ads to get that many people through your funnel in order to buy a product from you. But that requires you to run calls, it requires you to set up campaigns, like this middle section here is chock full of activities that don't make you any money. And you even have to work more because you need to deliver the work that you've sold to them. And that sounds like a lot of time. So I don't know about you, but do you find yourself with an abundance of free time right now? Do you feel in charge? Ask yourself this, does upselling your clients to a more time intensive project that costs more to deliver and requires you to work more, does that sound like a viable option right now? If time is limited, do you really want to try and make more money by using the only resource you've got, which is in itself extremely limited? Now, I remember when I used to use this model with my team, my team would be disappointed when we landed new clients because they knew their workload was about to increase. Now, that is not good for morale. Okay, so remember the goal for this stage is what we call TFS, total financial stability. Income like clockwork. Your money comes in and it goes out and then it comes back in again, all on automation. And that total financial stability, this comes from two things, trust and relationships. What if we tried a different model? What if instead of trying to make 365 new friends and convincing them to spend $2,000 with you, what if instead we tried to convince 30 people to spend $2,000 with you? Doesn't that sound a lot easier? I mean, it does to me. Even better, what if we could get these people to pay you over and over every single month, month in, month out? Now I promise this will not add to your workload. You'll have to stick with me and trust me on this. I know what you're thinking and I promise you I will address it. A $2,000 a month client at 30 clients is $60,000 a month in recurring revenue. Now forget all of the other work you've got and the projects and the financial ups and downs you've got right now, if you were starting from a completely blank slate, would $60,000 a month in regular recurring monthly revenue, what would that do for your business? What about 20,000 or even $10,000 a month in recurring revenue? Bearing in mind, you divide it by 2,000 and that gives you the number of clients. Five clients could give you a solid six-figure business. That's the magic of using recurring projects rather than relying on one-off sales. And the funny thing is it's actually easier to keep a $2,000 a month client happy than 365 customers happy. I remember a long time ago, a friend of mine, I asked him, I was like, how do you get, this is when I was like, like a kid, I was like, how do you get good with women? How do you keep women happy? I know it's very sexist and I apologize, but I was in my 20s and he said, you don't need to learn how to make all women happy. You just need to learn how to make one woman happy. And it completely changed my mindset on like finding a long-term relationship. And it's the exact same thing with clients. Now, you've probably got two questions right now and that's absolutely fine. Number one, what would you have to deliver to the client in order to justify a $2,000 a month client, uh, payment? And what are you gonna do to find $2,000 a month client or clients who are willing to pay that much, especially if your current clients like, don't like the idea of spending that type of money? And that's where this next section of the money tap comes in, right? Section two is about keep making money the easy way. Make more money faster and easier. Now, this is a secret underground delivery method that no one uses and no one is teaching because I only discovered it by accident 
and stumbled across it after running my own agency for years. So one of the questions that I'm asked a lot is, well, if this is so powerful, why would I just give this away for free? And it's a fair question. So it's two reasons really. First of all, I believe that if I've helped 100,000 people get super, super wealthy, I'm probably going to do okay myself. Number two, I have products to sell you. I have software that can deliver these methods like I'm teaching here for free. And you know, let's not make any bones about it. It's like teaching you the recipe. And if you want, you can buy the ingredients from me as well. And so that's why I teach this stuff for free, right? Because it, it serves me on two, two sides. So I wanna address the most common roadblock that you're probably thinking and you probably have right now, which is, how exactly do I justify a $2,000 a month price tag? Now, this is kind of an insane, super simple, low touch agency model that not only delivers killer results to clients and it turns your business into like this money, look at this, this money printing machine down here. Uh, and it gets your clients to pay you with clockwork every single day. The key is that we are going to make our clients a lot of money. If you can make your clients a lot of money, if you can make them money, they will pay you whatever you want to keep you on board. If you become the reason they make money, they will stay with you. They don't want to have to find new leads and customers. Now I know seven figure businesses who have got just eight clients and they follow this exact same model. And even better, this can actually be easier to deliver this method than those sort of standard agency services and those types of videos which you see everywhere, which means you get to spend less time working and more time doing the stuff that you love. Ballet, for example, or llama trekking. I, I don't know what you're into, but let me know in the comments down below. Now it's worth noting up front that I'm gonna show you some examples of this using some software that I use. Now I am a paid affiliate and there is a link in the description if you wanna sign up and I'll talk about that in a bit, but you can 100% execute this entire model without buying it or using it. It's just been very useful for me. And when I uncovered this method, it completely changed my agency's trajectory and the path of my business into absolute despair and chaos. I'm joking, it went uh, super good, right? And we haven't, we haven't looked back since. Um, and I'm not the only one. Uh, Sharon, Ben, Sarah, if you go to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash stories, that will show you all of our customers who have seen the same thing happen in their business. But now I have clients approaching me and they literally refuse to listen when I tell them that I'm not taking on more clients. They just keep offering more and more money. And so it works like this. By the way, if you've ever spent money on like a marketing course and you felt that you didn't have much impact on your business, Learning this point and getting to grips with it will mean that you never ever have to buy another marketing course ever again. This tactic alone is responsible for literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of my own income and millions of dollars for my customers. In order to justify a $2,000 a day price tag, you might think that there's some special secret underground agency model that I'm about to show you how to set up, right? Like. AI is very hot right now. Maybe I'll suggest an AI automation agency or AIAA. Agency YouTubers, they love to talk about new agency models that are crushing it, bro. Like social media marketing agencies or short form content agencies. And there's that new one, the info product growth consultancy or something. And all of these are sold as like low effort, easy money that attract so many clients, you'll be able to buy a solid gold rocket car. And my millions of dollars in my gold house and my rocket car. And make no mistake about it, every single one of these models completely misses the point. And it could be costing you thousands of dollars or hundreds of hours and perhaps more importantly, your precious sanity. And I've had email conversations with you before and I know how little sanity you've got left, right? So here's why these don't work. 
If you had a customer giving you $2,000 a month and you ran a short form content agency or an SMMA or something, are your customers buying short form content from you? Is that what they're actually buying? And I can prove categorically that they aren't. There is a hidden thing. So this is what they buy and this is what's hidden. There is a hidden thing that they're looking for which is implied in what you sell. So think about sitting down to watch some Netflix which you pay like 20 bucks a month for or whatever and you select a show that has a ton of trailers and adverts and press coverage. What are you expecting here when you actually press play so deep down, do you really care about how much work and effort goes into the show? Do you really care about whether everyone says that this style of show is very popular right now? Do you watch the show and then decide whether you like it depending on how, like, how many people are in the credits, for example? Like, of course you don't. Are you judging the value of the purchase and of the content by how it's delivered. You chose something on Netflix and you wanna get something specific in return. That is the hidden thing that is implied when you click play. All of the other stuff, like the promotion, the press junkets, all of the social media posts, all of the shorts and the cuts and the edits and stuff, all of that is completely worthless if the show isn't entertaining. That's the problem with focusing on the agency model and not the hidden implied thing that they actually want. Now, the technical term for what we call this hidden implied thing is called currency. That is what your customers are actually buying. So a while back I had a client um, speak, reach out to me who said he was launching essentially a, a brand new agency and he said it was an agency focused at coaches. And so I said, okay, and he was like, well, how am I gonna get brand new leads and sales and I'm kind of wanting to ramp this up. So I asked, what do coaches want? And he said they want things like influence and they want trust, they want audience, they want, I don't know, authority. That was one that came up. And I was like, okay, so those all sound very intangible. They're also very marketing-y words. And we have to go a little bit deeper. Why do they want that stuff? And he was like, well, if they get more influence and trust and authority and lead, uh, if they get more influence and trust and authority, they'll have more leads, they'll have more eyeballs, I think is one thing he said, like as in audience, uh, maybe they'll get more clicks. And I was like, okay, fine, slightly more tangible, but again, that seems very marketing-y. And if I got someone $2,000 worth of eyeballs, what are they hoping or expecting that to turn into? So another way of asking this is how do they make money? This was actually given to me, that question was given to me by one of my clients, Jake uh, Albion. How do they make money? How do they pay their bills? What is the hidden implied thing that they're hoping all of this leads to? What they want ultimately is clients, right? What they actually want is paying clients that pay good money. And what they actually actually want is they want paying clients that pay them good money and give them more money than what they gave you. The easiest, and I want you to pay attention to this because this is really important. The easiest and fastest way to make $2,000 a day is to sell $2,500 a day. 
Now the problem is of course, how in the hell can I deliver $2,000 a day worth of value to my clients? And this is where the real magic happens. Let's zoom in here and I want to ask you, which of these clients do you think is more likely to get work? Which one of these agencies is more likely to get work? Number or letter A, we work with coaches to build a strong social media presence using short form content to attract more eyeballs and grow brand trust within your sphere. By the way, that is an actual like real marketing agency tagline that I've heard. Or B, we help coaches get 10 new $10,000 clients in 90 days. Which one of those do you think has more clients knocking down the door? B will always get more clients. And the key is understanding how to deliver on that promise. Remember I said right at the start, the key to all of this is we're gonna get your clients more results, like that's actually the goal, and it is a 100 times easier than you have been led to believe. So the backbone of this whole method is something that's designed to massively reduce your workload and your stress levels, take more time off from the business, take time away from the business, Everything you're about to see here, you can use for free and you can start signing up recurring paying customers today. Uh, plus, like I'll show you how you can get all of my campaigns and templates and funnels and emails and stuff and all my automations pre-built so you can focus on the good stuff rather than building it all from scratch. And I can do that for free. Now, as I mentioned, I am a paid affiliate of High Level. I haven't plugged this in yet. Um, so if you do use my link or any of the links I mention, I will get like a paid cut on commission because I'm an affiliate. However, it's exactly the same price. Uh, if you sign up normally, it just helps pay the team and keep the lights on. So if you want a head start, head over to the link down below or go to sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash high level for a free 30 day trial to put all of this stuff together. And this is the method that I wanna show you. So part three of the money tap is printing income for your clients. If you can make money for your clients, they will do whatever it takes to keep you on board. I don't believe in the classic term of passive income, but I do believe in making money without working. This is a system, and this is the part of the process where you keep making money without having to work. And you will also become a literal hero to your clients. And you can do this starting from scratch as well, by the way, starting from absolute zero. Let's say this is money, money tap three. Let's say that we have our currency and we're saying we can help you get 10 clients at $10,000 each. And we're going to aim to do it in 90 days. Okay. Now that is $100,000 in revenue. Do you think that sounds like paying $2,000 a month for? I do, right? <laughs> so let's do a bit of maths. If we say we're gonna help them get 10 clients, for you, that is less than one client per month, okay? Now here's the insane bit. All the stuff that you see about short form content agencies and SMMAs and IPGAs and all that shit, right? It's so overly complex and unnecessary that we're gonna to totally ignore it. I have built three multiple six-figure businesses without worrying about any of that stuff. And before anyone says, well, have you done the seven-figure businesses? Yes, as a matter of fact, the seven-figure business just happened to be way more work, and now I have multiple six-figure businesses that I don't get to do, I don't have to do anything for. In fact, the next two weeks, the entire company is taking two weeks off. That's how profitable this system is. A few months back, uh, I had to rebuild part of my PC. Now I bought a new component. For anyone who's sort of like into PC building, basically I had to buy a new graphics card. So you got your CPU, that's like the main bit, and then you have this thing called a GPU. I promise we were not gonna go into this, but. Mine is by a company called NVIDIA and it blew up and so I had to get a new one. And I bought this new component and it also meant that I had to buy all the other bits and pieces because the last time I built a PC was back in the Stone Ages so none of my components worked. It's thousands of pounds that I just spent on this, right? And I plugged it all in and there's always a very tense moment when you plug it in and you press the button, you go, nothing worked. 
and I could, for the life of me, I, could, I couldn't figure out what it was. I was taking bits out, I was putting bits back in. I know earlier I said I'm dumb, but I'm relatively good with this stuff. I went on forums, I made a couple of phone calls, I sent some emails to their support team, I sent messages out to friends, pulled it apart, rebuilt it, pulled it apart, rebuilt it. I was this close to sending the whole thing back. Now, my wife, Olivia, is not at all a PC enthusiast. She doesn't even own a laptop, right? She noticed that I had left this tiny plastic tag on a connector pin, and I removed it, and it worked, right? Here's the question I want to ask you. Could you fix this business? So they've got an $8,000 product, they've never raised their prices, they've got 15 previous clients, they've never resold those clients, and they've never upsold those clients. They've got about a previous 100 proposals and leads, they've got around 1,000 people on their list, they've got around 5,000 followers, uh, they've got, they book sales, but they've never upsold on those sales calls. They have multiple sales methods and they hardly ever use their email list. I reckon you could find, let's, let's say this is a coaching company, I reckon you could find five of that currency client at $10,000 inside this business here without even beginning to look at ads. Experience isn't necessary. Perspective is necessary. Olivia saw this tag because she had no idea what else that she was supposed to be looking at. I was way too close for it. And by the way, if they don't know these numbers, if you're going through them, you say, okay, how many previous clients have you got? How many previous proposals and leads? And they say, I don't really know. Ask them, do you think it would be useful to know these numbers? To know these. And I guarantee they'll say, yeah, I think it would be extremely useful. And that right there is a $5,000 audit. You could say to a client, so you don't know how many followers you got, you don't know how many leads you got, you don't know how many previous clients you've got, you don't know what your average price is. Do these numbers sound like they'd be useful to know? Go, yeah. Well, do you think if we got a list of all that stuff, you might even be able to find some clients yourself? And they go, yeah, go great. We run an audit, it's $5,000, it's a one-off fee, it takes a few weeks, we'll go through these numbers and we will pinpoint you exactly where your clients are hiding. That is how you start to make sales, right? Now this next part is the really crazy bit. I openly work like two to three days a week and during one year, I took the entire year off without working basically a single day. Now it's because I was recovering from cancer, that's how sort of powerful this method is. I had other people doing this for me, following this format, and they were able to get clients results and they weren't me, they weren't the expert. It's extremely simple and it will allow you to work a few hours a week and eventually you can hire someone to do all of these bits for you, right? So here's how this works. First of all, we're gonna ID their weakness. That is when we run through those questions above. You can even use the same questions, right? And we find out what is their biggest weak point in their whole business. Bearing in mind, we still locate on the currency of like a $10,000 client. The second part of the stage is you audit their resources. So when we ask those questions, we then find out, well, how many leads do they have? What's the size of their email list? Uh, how many current clients are they working with? What's their average price? And so we're comparing what do they want with what do they have, okay? This gap here is where you're gonna make money. Number three, get them on a call, really simple. Now, for me, I personally like to do a group weekly call. Hopefully you can begin to see this come together. And what you do is you expose a problem on that call. Now, bearing in mind, we know why they're here. 
they are looking for their next $10,000 client. Let's say that we get five people on a call. So this is you, and then we have five people, all of whom are paying you $2,000 a month. That there is 10K a month, and you're doing one call a week and a little bit of extra work, and I'll show you. Now, we know that every single one of these people is looking for the same thing, their next $10,000 client. We, all we do on the call is we expose their problem and we say, who here is able to email their clients to get them on a sales call? And four out of five of them go, I'd love to, but I don't think I've got an email list. I don't think I would know how to write that email. I don't even know how I close them on a call. Let's say this one says, I've got an email list, but I've tried before and it hasn't worked. You have now exposed the problem and you're simply able to say, well, how about for you, I write your email copy and how about for you guys, we you know, combine all of your data and put it into a list and we make an email for you. You then offer to do the work for them on that call. What you're essentially doing is finding out what the next stage is of their journey and you offer to do it for them on that call. Now, you might think, well, what do some of those campaigns look like? Well, that's why if you sign up to my version of High Level, right, which is free for 30 days, ta-da, at sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash high level, you can get all of those campaigns in it. Now, like I said, it is a paid affiliate referral, so if you do sign up and buy, I will get a commission cut, but the price is exactly the same. It just helps us pay for like content like this and like my, my team and, and business and keep the lights on and things. So if you want to know what some of those like things are, you can go into High Level. Here's how you'll do that though. Very, very simple. Sign them up to one of the versions of High Level, right? There's three versions. There's a 497, a 297, and a 97. If you're an agency, you either want the 297 or the 497 version. Um, the 497 allows you to resell it as a SaaS, okay? But you can upgrade and downgrade at any time. You take your client, you get them an account, so you set them up under their own account, and you upload their data as a CSV, right? Super, super simple. And you get numbers from them. And what I mean by numbers is like business numbers. You audit them just in the same way that I did earlier. So we get their proposals, how many calls they're running, how many leads they've got, their audience, their sales, their revenue, all that type of stuff. Return customers. And that will give you that low hanging fruit. You will then know, oh, they said they have 10 clients currently and not a single one of them has bought again. There's no return customers. So why don't we email those customers first? And again, you can do this all on a group call. Now, you might say, well, how do I know if they're qualified? How do I know that I could even get those results for those particular clients? That's why it's so important to qualify people. You can also change the days, change the expectations. The number at the top doesn't matter if you're giving really clear expectations. But we do need killer campaigns to run for our clients, which is a good thing that I've got this video here talking through some of my most powerful and popular campaigns that you can use with clients that have generated me hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in revenue and even more for my clients. So why don't you go ahead and watch that video here.